Welcome to the YouTube channel of St. Peter's Church Bandra. We intend live streaming the Eucharist twice a day during this emergency period of the virus. You're welcome to like, share and subscribe to this channel. God bless. Good evening and welcome to this evening's Eucharist. We have the privilege of an 89-year-old priest, Spanish priest, Father Juan, to celebrate this Eucharist for us. And we welcome him on the altar. And let's start with our prayer in song. Come by here. This Mass is offered for Iris and Richard Laporte and in thanksgiving for good health and welfare of Troy Patel. <coughs> Any other intention or celebration, birthday or anniversary, let us present it to the Lord. And above all, let us pray for the need of the moment that the Lord may spare not only our country, but the whole world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. This moment today, brothers and sisters, reminds us of the scene of the resurrection. The apostles were in the Last Supper room with doors closed for the fear of the Jews. And Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Do not be afraid. and he showed them his hands. Today, you cannot come to the church confined to your homes for fear of the coronavirus. But Jesus comes to you through this celebration of the Eucharist. He comes as your guest. He sees your, your TV, your internet, your mobiles. He sees you a united family, is he pleased? So now, for a, a, a moment, let us acknowledge our shortcomings and failures. And as we are in need of forgiveness, we forgive each other, saying, I confess, I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, 
in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who renew the world through mysteries beyond all telling, grant, we pray, that your Church may be guided by your eternal design and not be deprived of your help in this present age. Help us to see you today in everyone, in everything. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The first reading, a reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Now I create new heavens and a new earth, and the past will not be remembered, and will come no more to men's minds. Be glad and rejoice forever and ever for what I am creating, because I now create Jerusalem joy and her people gladness. I shall rejoice over Jerusalem and exult in my people. No more will the sound of weeping or the sound of cries be heard in her, in her no more will be found the infant living a few days only, or the old man not living to the end of his days. To die at the age of a hundred will be dying young. Not to live to be a hundred will be the sign of a curse. They will build houses and inhabit them plant vineyards, and eat their fruit. This is the word of the Lord. Your response will be, I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you have raised my soul from the dead restored me to life for those who sink into the grave. Your response, I will, I will praise, praise you, Lord, Lord. you, you have, have rescued, rescued me. me. Sing psalms to the Lord, you who love him, give thanks to his holy name. His anger lasts but a moment, his favor through life. At night there are tears, but joy comes with dawn. Response, I will, I will praise, praise you, Lord. Lord. You, you have, have rescued, rescued me. me. The Lord listened and had pity. The Lord came to my help. For me, you have changed my mourning into dancing. O oh Lord my God, I will thank you forever. Response. I will praise you, Lord. <coughs> you have rescued me. Glory and praise to you. Lord Jesus Christ, seek good and Glory not evil, and so that you may live, you. and that the Lord God of hosts may really be with you. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Almighty God, cleanse my heart and my lips that I may worthy proclaim your gospel. Open a man's and hearts to listen attentively. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, <clears throat> O Lord. 
Jesus left Samaria for Galilee. He himself had declared that there is no respect for a prophet in his own country. But on his arrival, the Galileans received him well, having seen all that he had done at Jerusalem during the festival which they too had attended. He went again to, Gana, to Cana in Galilee, where he had changed the water into wine. Now there was a court official there whose son was ill at Capernaum. And hearing that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went and asked him to come and cure his son as he was at the point of death. Jesus said, so you will not believe unless you see, uh, you see signs and portents. Sir, answered the official, come down before my child dies. Go home, Jesus said, your son will live. The man believed what Jesus had said and started on his way and while he was still on the journey back his servants met him with the news that his boy was alive. He asked them when the boy had began to recover. The fever left him yesterday, they said, at the seventh hour. The father realized that this was exactly the time when Jesus had said, your son will live. And he and all his household believed. This was the second sign given by Jesus on his return from Judea to Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus <clears throat> Christ. Dear people, once saw the reflection from the first reading, what Isaiah tells his people, it happens even today. Thus says the Lord, now I create new heavens and the new earth, and the past will not be remembered, and will come to more to no will come no more to my, man's mind. Dear people, let us put our full trust in this God of us that could happen centuries ago, it will happen today. He has a plan for us, for the world today. Let us believe and trust in him. And from the gospel, meaningfully, we have to ask the faith that that uh, official had. He had heard about Jesus. He didn't know him, yet he had trust. And he said, come and save my, my boy who is dying. And Jesus simply says, go home, your son will live. And the man believed, and he went home. And on the way, we know that the servants came and told him, yes, your son is alive. And he realized that it was at the time when Jesus had said this, go home. And beautifully well, at the end of the, of the passage, we have these words. The father realized that this was exactly the time when Jesus had said, your son will live. And he and all his household believed. So let us believe, not only we personally, our homes, 
all our lives centered on Jesus. And I'm sure we shall not be disappointed. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, was always magnificent, and me from my sin. <clears throat> Pray, brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord so accept the, the sacrifice at your hands, to the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of His holy for church. Good and the good of all His holy church. May we receive, O oh Lord, we pray, the, off the effects of this offering dedicated to you, so that we may be cleansed from all the earthly ways and be renewed by growth in heavenly life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly totally right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and his rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, the powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as now we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name Lord. of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, the in the highest. <coughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like did you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God, In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread out throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Oswald, our Bishop, and all the clergy, and all of you, the faithful. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and our Mother, with Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Peter, St. Stanislaus, our patron saints, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. It is with this Amen that we give praise, glory, honor to our Heavenly Father. We, His loving children, now in confidence pray. Our Father, who art in, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Yes, Lord, deliver us, we pray, from every evil. Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Meaningfully, let us greet each other with the sign of peace. Peace be with you, peace be with you, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have and mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, God you take, take away the sins of the sins world, of the world grant, grant us peace. Us. May this mingling of the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ bring it and light to us who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us always faithful to your commandments and never be parted from you. This is truly Jesus, our Lord and Savior, the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. 
fees of a healer. Happy are we when I'm going to receive him. Lord, Lord I'm, I'm not worthy, worthy that he should enter into my roof, my roof, but only say the word, the word and my soul so shall be shall healed. Be healed. Now we can not receive Holy Communion sacramentally, but spiritually, let us make an act of deep faith, hope, and, and love, accepting this great gift we have received. Dear Jesus, I believe that you are really present in the Holy Eucharist. I love you because you are all good and deserving of my love. Since I am now not in a position to receive you physically in Holy Communion, I ask you to come into my life and into everything that I do. Thank you for being there with me every moment of my life. Help me to ever grow in an awareness of your presence with me. Amen. So devoutly, let us receive the Lord. Lay the body and blood of Christ. Amen. Gently upon us. Let the touch render. Let them bring your forgiveness and healing. Lay your hands, gently lay your hands. You were sent to free the broken heart. Sight to the blind, you desire to heal all our illnesses. Lay your hands gently, lay your hands. <coughs> <clears throat> Prayer after Holy Communion Jesus you traveled through towns and villages curing every disease and illness at your command the sick were made well come to our aid now in the midst of the global spread of the coronavirus, that we may experience your healing love and protection. Heal those who are sick. Protect those who care for them. Remove our fear, which prevents us from helping our neighbors in need. Be with the leaders of our nations. Give them the foresight to act with charity and concern for the well-being of all. In place of our anxiety, give us peace. Mother Mary, intercede for us. Jesus, heal us.
the communion antiphon. I will place my spirit within you and make you walk according to my laws and my commandments and judgments you shall keep and observe, says the Lord. Let us pray. May your holy gifts, O Lord, we pray, give us life by making us new and by sanctifying us, lead us to things eternal. Help us to see you in everyone, in everything, in what we do and say. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Renew your people within and without, O Lord. And since it is your will that they be inherited uh, unhindered by bodily dislikes, give them, we pray, perseverance in their spiritual intent. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I don't say go, but let us say, let us praise the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. And let Jesus, who is our guest, stay with us and bring peace, joy, and happiness. Have a pleasant and a good night. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing, I will sing, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness, thy faithfulness. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing. I will sing, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord.